morning class so let's continue with the language of chemistry if you all can remember we last spoke about atom how they exist they may or may not exist independently and what are the different fundamental particles of the atom that is electron proton and neutrons and electrons are the one that is involved in a chemical reaction do make sure that the not all the electrons are involved in chemical reaction rather only the valence electron or the electron present in the last shell are involved in a chemical reaction so how does a chemical reaction takes place a chemical reaction generally takes place when an electron is either lost gained or shared continuing with the flow let us talk about valency now what is valency valency is defined as the combining capacity of an element now what does this mean see whenever chemical reaction takes place we already know the electrons is lost gained or shared so the number of electron that is lost gained or shared during a chemical reaction is called as valency now you have to make sure that this is an old definition which no which nowadays is not used instead a new definition has been coined the definition states that the number of hydrogen atom that combines with an element to form their respective hydride to understand the very concept let us first undertake an example we know about hydrogen chloride or hcl right so how many hydrogen has been combined with a chlorine chlorine only one hydrogen has been combined with a chlorine under that situation we can say that the valency of chlorine is 1 since there is only one hydrogen over here another example that we can take is if we want to find out the uh, valency of nitrogen you can see over here nitrogen combines with three hydrogen atom thus what is the valency of nitrogen 3 thus we can say valency is the combining capacity of an element where it combines with hydrogen the number of hydrogen atom combined is a valency so generally most of the elements have just one valency all right but at an, under certain conditions an element may lose more than more electrons from the valence shell than present in it now such kind of a condition will create variable valencies now to explain variable valency let us first undertake an example of iron iron generally has got two electron in its valence shell but under adverse condition it can lose either two electrons or three electrons and respectively forming fe2 plus and fe3 plus such a situation is called as such a situation is called as variable valency all right now you can see over here another example is of tin tin you can see tin has got two valency 2 and 4 copper has valency 1 and 2 so now once a valency has you have understood the concept of valency let's move to the very idea of how an ions are formed now we should understand these are the charged atoms now how do the again charges now basically the method of attaining a charge is either by losing an electron or electrons or by gaining electron or electrons here we'll first talk about cation now do remember cation is what a positively charged ion a cation once again a cation is a positively charged ion and generally a metal atom will generally lose electron to form a cation here is an example one metal that is sodium you can see the electronic configuration given over here 281 means the atom of one atom of sodium contains one valence electrons now when it loses that one valence electron what happen it gains a positive charge and hence forms what na plus so na on losing one electron will form any plus so the number of electron lost by an atom is called as valency now to continue with the flow we let us understand what is an anion what is an anion 
anions are a negatively charged particles or negatively